Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are Bars and Barbells. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And uh, we got more Lara Fabian today. We've done two tracks from Lara thus far. Yes. Je suis malade was the first one that we did. And the second one was Adagio. We've also done two versions of Adagio from mm -hmm. Dimash. And uh, all of the things that I just, all the tracks I just mentioned were all sensational. Yeah, incredible. So I'm looking forward to a little more Lara and uh, it's been a little while since we've done her. Yeah. But um, I think this is going to be from the same concert that we've done. Cool. And the track is Caruso. And as far as we know, Caruso was a former Italian tenor, an operatic singer that was legendary in his own right from uh, mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yeah. And uh, so the song, I guess, is dedicated or named after him. Um, and uh, I don't think necessarily it's about him though i think it's just named after him i could be wrong but you guys can let us know in those comments which are always so amazing and fantastic you guys have built this this uh community into something really special yes and uh it's been a great journey thus far have you it has you've enjoyed it as much as i have i have good because you're not allowed to leave <laughs> <laughs> sorry those are the rules. I didn't make them up. You've become a part of bars and barbells, and that's the way it is. I'm here in prison. Yes. Um, I guess I should not say that too much because people will probably start to believe that, and they'll probably like send a help squad. <laughs> Wear know. purple Where if you need help. Where is your location? We need to find a GPS immediately to help Samantha. Yeah. No, that's definitely a joke, guys. <laughs> um, so we've got, like I said, Laura. I I loved her. You know. Her singing and the emotion. We had, you know, I think in uh, Adagio, we saw her just vocal capability, the oh, technical yeah. side of it. And then in Wild. Just We Malad, it was the emotional connection. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested to see what we're going to get in this one. Yes, me too. Are you ready? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. We got a full intro here. Qui dove il mare luccica e dove tira forte il vento su una vecchia terrazza davanti al golfo di Sorrento. Un uomo abbraccia una ragazza dopo che aveva pianto, poi si schiarisce la voce e ricomincia il canto. Sole notti là in America erano solo le lampare, la bianca scia di un'elica. Senti il dolore della musica, si alzò dal piano forte. Ma quando vide la luna uscire dalla nuvola, gli sembrò più dolce anche l'amore te. Guardo negli occhi la ragazza, gli occhi e ricordo il mare. Poi all'improvviso uscì una lacrima e lui credette di affogare. Te. Che sogno il sangue di un tibene 
giving me a moment to jump in. <laughs> incredible. She's so incredible, man. I, I, you know, it's been a while since we listened to her and I, I kind of forgot how amazing she is. You know, she just, uh, we, I was saying mid performance there, the power in her vocal is oh, yeah. outstanding. But even beyond that, the way she just captures the emotion, we're coming back to the emotional one yeah. in this one. And um, she tells the story not only with her voice in such an amazing way, but, you know, in her demeanor, in her actions, in her eyes. Yeah, in, she's so captivating. Yeah, she's such a performer. She's a magnificent performer. And I really, you know, just the subtleties I can pick up on a little bit more now, you know, the mic control that she has mm -hmm. and, and how she just moves the mic away just a touch to, you know, keep that smoothness in her voice when she wants it. And, you know, like I said, just on top of that, the cherry on top of everything is her ability to use her voice to set, you know, tell you this story of emotion oh, yeah. and make you just so engaged so and so enthralled with whatever she's doing on the stage and you know and uh, i think she captures the theme of this song perfectly you know in her performance uh, in total and telling that story oh yeah i think that she's super captivating i like can't take my eyes off of her and i mean it's you know usually i would say it's like challenging when it's in a different language but mm -hmm. i'm i'm finding that you know just because there's so much like emotion and passion in it i feel like it's not as hard to kind of follow along with like the vibe of what she's saying obviously there's the the lyrics there but um, also, like, she, I mean, obviously she sounds beautiful, but she makes Italian sound so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And um, it seems like it might be actually about him, about Caruso yeah, and maybe. the story that she's talking about. We obviously don't know the story, yeah. but. Don't know much um, about him specifically. But. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, you know, even when she was talking about the uh, the blood in the veins, she's like pointing and looking at her veins. And, yeah. You know, no, just, she's an amazing performer. Yeah. Um, I got a feeling though that she might hammer us with something towards the end. Here. <laughs> yeah, I she would did that say on the probably last more one. than likely. Yeah. yeah, she just explodes, and uh, but it doesn't matter where she goes. Like if she goes into the, you know the the higher range, she still sounds beautiful, mm -hmm. and, you know, and just as beautiful when she's going to lower register. So let's keep it going. La potenza della lirica dove ogni dramma è un falso. Con un po' di trucco e con la mimica, sai, puoi, puoi anche diventare un altro. Così, così diventa tutto piccolo, anche le sole notti là in America. Ti volti e vedi la tua vita come la scia di un Yeah, she's incredible. Perfect. 
That's what I would summarize. It was just perfect, perfect. performance. <laughs> you couldn't do any better than that. I don't yeah, feel no, like she was amazing. She, you know, there's nothing I can say that I'm like, I wish she had done this or I wish she had done that. Like it was literally perfect. And you know, she got her standing ovation there at the end, you know, deservedly. So yes, definitely. But also I was just thinking about it, you know, you could hear a pin drop in that, that yeah. room. Yeah. Everybody was just like, you know, and what it would have been like to see her watching her perform that live, right? I, I've never seen anything like that, and, you know, live. I've gone to see, you know, a lot of music, but I've never seen anything like that and being in that room, that intimate setting when she's performing that intimate song, yeah. making you feel that an intimate emotion that she's giving would have been such a great experience, I feel like. So, um, you know, and the people that were there, they were lucky, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. And I think experiencing something like that is probably like a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. I mean, she's a once in a lifetime kind of singer. I <laughs> yeah, think. it's so, fair. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction to Caruso. Um, if you did hit the like button for us and uh, that's going to help with your algorithm as much as it helps with ours. And we really appreciate all the support. So uh, if you want to do that now, if you haven't subscribed, this is your first time on the channel. We'd appreciate for you to come all come along, come alongside us on yes, this journey that we're on join us. and uh, you know, get your input on some of these, some of these reactions that we're doing. So that's it from us today. And we'll be back with another one tomorrow. See you guys in the next one.